Good morning kids and welcome back to a new video. This is teacher Farah Zurek from Waxer Schools and I hope you're doing super well. Alright, today's lesson is phonics and it is prefixes on, re, over, pre and miss. Alright, second graders, we will be using your reader's notebook and we will cover pages um, 127, 129, and 136. And I hope you came prepared. Alright. What do we mean when we say prefixes? Prefixes are a group of letters or attachments we add to the beginning of words and it changes the meaning. Like, obviously, whenever we add um, a prefix or a suffix, as we already know, to a base word, it changes the meaning. Our prefixes that we'll be learning are on, re, over, pre, and miss. Alright. These prefixes on, re, over, pre, and miss. We don't just like add them to words. Every prefix has its own use and its own meaning. So, every pre prefix has a different meaning. For example, un. Un means not or against or opposite. So, for example, you say, I am unhappy today. Does that mean you are happy or not happy? It means not happy. Unusual. When we say something is unusual, it means not usual. The meaning of re is again or back. For example, the verb react, it means to act again, reappear, appear again. Over, whenever we say we overheat something or you're being overconfident while you didn't study, it means too much, too much. Overheat, overconfident. The prefix pre. It means before, like preschool, prefix. Preschool is the stage where you study, um, for example, like kindergarten, it is preschool. Preschool, it means before school. Miss, miss. The prefix miss means bad or wrong. For example, Misunderstand, misheard, misplace. Misunderstand, misheard, misplace. Misunderstand, it means I understood what you said wrong in a wrong way. Misheard, I didn't hear you well. Or I heard you um, incorrect, incorrectly. Misplace, I have placed the thing in a wrong place. Again, on means not, against, opposite. Re, to do something again. Over, too much. Pre, before. Miss, bad or wrong. Now let's apply these uh, prefixes and words in sentences. She starts preschool this fall. She starts preschool this fall. The clouds reappeared in the sky this morning. Again. I misheard that. Can you say it again? Sam was unhappy with his test results. If you overheat the olive oil, it will burn. I am sorry we had a fight. I misunderstood what you said. So when we said preschool, it was the time before the regular school. Reappeared. It means it appeared again. Misheard. It means um you heard it wrong. Unhappy. Not happy. Overheat. It means you hated it too much. Misunderstood. It means you didn't understand it well or wrong. 
Now open your books on the reader's notebook, page 127. And right now, you can pause at any minute before answering the questions, before I answer the questions, and I'll answer them, and we can check your answers after you play the video. Prefixes. Make words with prefixes. Read the base word, then add the, pref the prefix at the top of the column, and write the new word. Here we have two prefixes, un and re. And we have two, um, five base words, lock, tie, pen, fold, and pack. Now we have to add the prefix un to the word lock, to the base word lock, also re. So, I will do the first one, unlock, unlock. Again, it becomes at the beginning of the base word. Unlock, it means to um, unlock the, um, for example, unlock the door to open it or to remove the lock. Re-lock, re-lock, it means to lock it again. Untie. Untie. Retie. Retie. Unpen. Unpen. Repen. Repen. Unfold. Unfold. Refold. Refold. Unpack. Unpack. Repack. Repack. Kids, you have to pay attention that we add the prefixes um, to the beginning of the base word like this. Unlock, re-lock, untie, re-tie, unpen, re-pen, unfold, refold, unpack, repack. Complete each sentence, add a prefix from the box to the base word at the end of the sentence. Write the new word on the line. We have the prefixes over, pre, and mills. Here we have set an alarm clock so you do not what sleep. When you sleep too much and miss your alarm clock. So we say set an alarm clock so you wouldn't uh, so you do not oversleep, oversleep. Seven. Before the real test, we will have a before we had here um, a keyword. So before, which of these prefixes mean before? Pre, pre-test, pre-test. Before the real exam, before the real test, sorry. We will have a pre-test. Be careful not to what any words. When you spell in a wrong way, we say miss spell, miss spell. All right, kiddos. Now let's move to the next page, page 129. Prefixes. Read each word, then write the prefix and the base word on the lines. So over here, because it comes at the beginning, we will write the prefix, and over here we will write the base word. Unsafe, unsafe, unsafe. Where is the prefix? Un, un. Where is the um, base word? Safe, safe. Two. Recheck, recheck. Where is the base word? And where is the prefix? Re is the prefix. Check is the base word. Re check, re check. Three, re tell, re tell. The prefix is re, re. The base word is tell, tell. Four, over he. Where is the prefix? Over, eat, sorry. Over, eat. 
overeat when you eat too much. So, overeat. Over is the prefix. E is the base word. Unwise. Unwise. Where is the prefix? It is un. It means not wise. It is unwise to drive very fast. So, un is the prefix. Wise is the base word. Repaint. Repaint as in paint again. Re is our prefix. Paint is our base word. All right. Add the prefix re, miss, or pre to the base word at the end of, the, of each sentence. Write the new word on the line to complete the sentence. 7. I wet the oven before I bake. So when you want to cook or bake a cake, what do you do to the oven before you heat it? You preheat the oven. I preheat the oven before I bake. A. I listen carefully, so I won't what? Here we're being careful, so we wouldn't um understand in a wrong way. So, what do we say? Which of the prefixes mean in a wrong way? I listen carefully, so I won't misunderstand. Misunderstand. 9. I'll study again and what the test. We want to take it again, so retake, retake. Okay. Again, kids, before I answer, you can pause the video, try to do it, and then you can recheck after replaying the video. All right. Write a base word that matches each meaning. Here we have some basic words, unhappy, retell, untangle, unkind, repaint, refill, unlike, remake, unpack, reread, unlock, and replay. 1. Fell again. Since we have the word again, it means we have to use the prefix re, re. We fell, we fell. Tell again, tell again. It means we have to tell again. It means we have to use the prefix re, re. We tell, we tell the story for us, please. Three. Read again, read again. We read, we read. Play again, play again. Replay. Make again. Make again. We make. Paint again. Paint again. We paint. Not happy. Not happy. We must use the prefix un. Unhappy. Unhappy. Eight. Not like. Unlike. Unlike. Nine, not kind, not kind. We're using the prefix un, unkind. Undo a lock, undo a lock. It means to unlock, unlock. All right, kids, this is the end of our video. I hope you had fun and you have done everything on your books. I hope it was very super um, beneficial. And you had fun with me. Thank you for watching.